Shaz Chowdhury, Pep Talk UK, joined by a special guest today, a guy I've been tracking down, following his career, wanting to interview, a man that's coming all the way from Germany, Germany Mr. Ahmed Shokran Pavani. How are you doing? Fine, fine. Everything good. Now, are we doing this interview in German or are we doing it in English? I think uh, I try to speak in English. I think your English is very good because we've just spent, what, the best part of 20 minutes? having a chat and your English is fine as far as I'm concerned. Now for the for our viewers here that are probably being introduced to you for the first time, tell us a bit about yourself. What weight do you fight? I'm now fighting in cruiserweight and yes. Your record as a professional? 14 and 0. And you've picked up a few titles as well? Yeah, I'm fighting for the German title, WBF International, two titles now and I'm hoping in December the third title. And you're sightseeing in London at the moment? Yeah, I'm now the second time in London and uh, enjoying this nice country and city and uh, looking at some um, gyms, watching out for some gyms, and, yes. And uh, visit my friend Mark Rigard, a good coach from the amateur. For six years, I come in here and uh, yeah. Now, no, you're, you're, you're a German national now, but you weren't born in Germany, were you? No, no, I'm from Afghanistan, I born there, but I never see Afghanistan uh, again after six months, uh, uh, like a baby, a, baby, a baby go away from Afghanistan because of the war and uh, go to Russia and growing up in Russia and yes, then come, coming to Germany. Now, your background's not originally boxing, is it? No, no, uh, I'm uh, starting with MMA, mixed martial art, at the age of 10, and uh, then uh, fighting 16, 17 uh, kickbox ma matches, everything uh, won, 16 or 17 wins, and uh, yes, after that fighting say, uh, 16 amateur fights, 15 wins and one loss, yes, just uh, not much amateur fights, just 16, yeah. And then you decide to turn pro? Yeah, I... Uh, was uh, I want to go to pro because um, I sp uh, sparring uh, cruiserweight um, in the amateur uh, professional cruiserweight and the coach said to me why you don't want to uh, fight a professional I say I'm not good enough for professional you know and then he said why you you idiot you can't fight for professional and you knock that guy out and I say okay I try and then I try after I had fights I win eight times, seven knockouts, and won the WBF title, and uh, yes, and I say, okay, why not? And then now I'm 40 and 0, and so the whole world. And what's the target this year? Any more fights? You had last had a fight in July, when yeah, when I, next I'm up? fighting in July in Spain, in Lyon, and uh, against an Argentina guy, and uh, in, win in the third round, and now uh, fighting in December uh, for the IBF uh, European title in Cruiserweight. Um, the opponent is not uh, safe, but I hope a good opponent and uh, make a good match. Yeah. You're also no stranger to the UK. You spend a lot of time adopted home, Cardiff. Yeah, it's like my second home. How? Because um, my coach Gary Lockett is there, and uh, the the family, the gym is like in my second family, and uh, uh, that's why uh, I spend a lot of time there. The training, the camps, every time in Cardiff and go back to Germany uh, or to fight. And yes, and uh, now hope, hope to go uh, again in Cardiff and see my friends and my coach Gary again. How's it? How is it being trained by the Locket Man? For me, it's uh, special. It's very special because I train with many coaches in the world, in America, Vegas, Russia, Germany. And uh, for me, is, he is a very nice and very knowledge coach, and uh, I respect him as a person and as a coach. And yes, that's why I think he bring me to the top, and uh, he has the knowledge to be champion, world champion, and that's my target. Yes. You're a good southpaw. I've seen you fight. Yeah, I'm a southpaw, but you... I, I'm a right-hander. You're a right-hander. Yes. I fight southpaw. I, I can't. I can't uh, Explain. I don't know why. Uh, I 
can't uh, write with the left hand. But in the school, I think I try every time uh, to work the balls with the with the with the left. And every time now, it's a little bit difficult to explain. I can don't write with the left, but I write with the right. I threw the balls with uh, the tennis ball with the left. I uh, shoot my the, uh, football with the left. It's very difficult to uh, explain. But when you punch, you can punch with the right and left. Yeah, and both. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, the part. That one you can punch yes. with both hands. Uh, my hand, both hands are the strongest. I don't use both hands the strongest. Over the years, you've had some good sparring. Yeah, good, I, yes, yes, I have good sparrings with good. Uh, Marco Oak, for example, he fighting Usyk in the WBSS tournament. I was in his camp and uh, with other very good, talented uh, boxers. And uh, yes, uh, the likes of Badu Jack yes. was a good sparring. What a nice session. Now, one one thing that I've wanted to ask you is nicknames. What is your nickname? Because there's a story behind this as well. Yeah, I was in Vegas the first time, and then I saw a very fame, famous boxer, uh, Mike McCullum. It's the first time I don't know him, but then everybody say, you don't know him? He is the body snatcher, Mike McCullum, Hall of Fame. They say, oh, respect, respect. And then he so sit every time six, seven hours in the gym and looking to the fighters. And then one time he looked at me, he said, hey, you, you guy, you German guy, you. And I said, yes. You special one. I said, why? You want every time hitting hard. I say, okay. I say, okay, thank you. Yes. I am hoping we get to see you fight on British shores. Yes. I hope to see you fight in the UK. There's a lot of good cruiserweights in this country. I hope you will uh, fight in the UK. I love the uh, country because very nice people and uh, very nice. Uh, uh, yes, uh, the country is very nice. and. Uh, special Cardiff. The city is like my second home and the, the food, the people, everything is great and uh, yeah. Now people that want to follow the journey, I know you're on social media, you're on Instagram, what's your Instagram handle? M my name is Shukran Pavani, Instagram, you can follow me if you want and I hope you support me and I give my best to make you all happy. Yeah. Well Ahmed, Thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoy London. Thank you. Bro. I hope you don't eat too much because then the weight has to come off as well. And I hope to be seeing you back in the UK. And hopefully, once your fight's announced in December, we the Pet, Pet Talk Boys will be following the journey and hopefully, we'll see you out there. Thank you, brother, for the interview and for the support.